Yeah. So you said you're a Catholic. Yes, I am. I'm Catholic. Okay. Um, but Have I'm you... kind of curious about Islam, and um, I've been thinking about Islam for a while, and just wondering if I should, you know, take the leap and learn more about it or anything. So, yeah. Okay. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that God is not a human being? Is not three in one? Is not hundred in one? It's just one creator that created everything. And he's not a human. He's not a, a, a Holy Spirit. He's not. He's just the creator of everything. Um. Yeah, I do. I believe in God, and I I believe that Jesus was a prophet. I don't believe that okay. Jesus was God. Okay. So, do you? What do you think about Prophet Muhammad? Then, do you think Prophet Muhammad is a messenger that was sent by God? Because he was preaching the same things that Jesus was preaching, that Moses was preaching, which is to worship on God, to believe in the messengers of God, to do good. Uh, to give charity, to be good to your parents, to be good to your neighbors. All of the same commands that God has, has come with, Prophet Muhammad has been teaching the people. And he, uh, the, other, the only other religion that accepts Jesus is Islam. The only other religion mm -hmm. that actually believes in Mary as, as uh, given the miraculous birth and being a righteous woman is Islam, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what do you think about Prophet Muhammad? What, do you have any view about Prophet Muhammad or any, any kind of beliefs? Um, not really. Um, I haven't finished reading the quran i've read some of it i don't know because i've looked at some of the hadith and i don't really see the difference between hadith and the bible because you know it's like the big argument against the bible in terms of like muslims will say you know the bible is not accurate because it's it's not like preserved the hadith isn't i see the hadith as sort of similar because it won't it's not like preserved in the same way that the Quran was preserved, you know? I think there's a big difference, uh, but I understand what you're saying. Let me let me give you an example. Every hadith, even weak hadith, by the way, weak mm -hmm. narrations, because weak is are different categories of weak, not all types of weak, because we even categorize weaks. Like this is very weak. For example, something is completely fabricated, right? We call mm -hmm. mawdu'a. So there are layers of even weak in Islam. But those weak hadith, you would find that they would have something called a chain of narration. Mm -hmm. Meaning they will have a the individuals that heard that information going mm -hmm. back to the source, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Or they would have people who heard the information that they have a link, but maybe the link is missing one person. Maybe okay. the link has a specific issue. Mm -hmm. Do you find any chains of transmission for the Bible? Do you find any a group of people that we can trace back all the way to Jesus, knowing that this information came from him. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So that, that would be the first difference. By the way, I'm talking mm -hmm. about weak hadith, not even authentic hadith, right? So I would say even weak hadith are even stronger historically than the Bible because they would have, their first, they're closer to the source, the written form, they're probably closer to the, to the source. Number two, that they have individuals that we can go back all the way back to the source. We can trace all the way back to the source. So okay. we, I would say weak hadith are stronger than, than the Bible from that perspective. Now, coming to the strong hadith, there's a criteria for us to say this is a prophet said this. And that's why we have this whole system that I'm telling you about that is called weak hadith. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how do you know that the Prophet ﷺ said something? That as I said to you, there's something called a chain of narration. What mm -hmm. happens is in that chain of narration, every individual in the chain has to be a trustworthy, honest person. What does that mm -hmm. mean? You know, in the past, you probably would know, know what I'm saying here. People were actual communities. There was no social media. People used to know their neighbors. They used to know their very far neighbors. Even if, if someone does something bad, the whole community knows about it, right? Mm -hmm. So people yeah. were actually communities, right? Not like today. People were separate from one another. If someone was a liar, he's known in the community as a liar. Mm -hmm. If someone is a trustworthy individual, people already know this person is a trustworthy individual, right? Mm -hmm. This was how communities were. If I knew you lied, now the whole community will know that you are a liar. Okay? okay. So that all of those people in the chain have to be known to be trustworthy and honest by their community. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there was very strict criteria there. Like, for example, if someone was to even be evil to the animals, like play games with an animal, try to put food in front of the animal. When the animal comes, he hides the food. Mm -hmm. That was enough for people not to accept hadith from the individual. It used to be very intricate when it comes to these issues because it is religion for us, right? So all mm -hmm. the people have to be trustworthy and honest. Secondly, they have they need to have good memory, strong memory. Okay. And and what happened? They used to test the people to see their memory. So an individual, he, he narrates from another individual all, all the way going to the prophet, right? Mm -hmm. Other people used to come and then they used to mix the change of narration and ask questions to see whether that person still has a good memory. He will know this is his own hadith or someone else's hadith. Mm -hmm. So they used to make tests all the time. 
Mm-hmm. You go to the person, they test him, they give him different chains of narration, they mix them together and they see. If he says, no, this is not for me, this is wrong, this is incorrect, then they know that person still has a correct, strong memory. And people used to rely on their memory. No pads and, and you know, you have notes in your pads. People had to rely on their memory. You know, you need to remember your address, remember the way of where to go, where to come. So memories were stronger because the muscle was exercised more than it is today. Okay. So a person has to be very strong in his memory. And Arabs used to rely on memory or more than, this was their thing. A person has to be strong in memory, well known to be trustworthy and honest. And he has to be narrating from the people all the way going back to the prophet. Okay. And we know that they died in, like for example, a person died at the year 100 and the person who said he listened from him, he listened from him at the year 90. That, that it is, they actually can listen to them. So a person who died at the year 100 and a person who was born at the year 200, he cannot be saying I heard from him mm-hmm. because he died 200, 100 years before you. You go know what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say. So we, those people need to actually listen. We have, we sure that the chain is connected going all the way back to the prophet. And now no hidden defects. Now there's even things called hidden defects. Like for example, uh, or, or irregularities. An example for irregularity is where you have five people hearing something from the prophet. Then they're saying that statement. Then a sixth, person who's saying the same information but he added a little bit extra information that the five people did not add Mm -hmm. we will say that is an irregularity we don't accept that to be strong because now those five people heard the same incident none of them said what you said Mm -hmm. this extra part that you added you only added you brought forward so now yeah. I'm going, so this, this is a whole science. I'm just giving you the basics, by the way. If we go deep, there's even deeper than that, than that right? Mm-hmm. So the point is, is there anything even remotely close to that regarding the Bible? No, but I mean, there's, but in the Bible, I mean, they say it's like divinely inspired. So, I mean, they attach it to God in a way. So That's a claim, right? Like yeah. if, I, if I were to bring you a book now and say it's divinely inspired, would you believe me? Well, no, I wouldn't. Shouldn't you have evidence first to, to show that this is actually divinely inspired? Yeah, yeah. What would you say is the evidence that shows that the Bible is divinely inspired? I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I would I'm, say, I'm I would, honestly not sure. <laughs> no, it's okay. I would say yeah. to you, and I'm not saying this out of disrespect or anything, because look, we mm-hmm. believe that Jesus received the scripture from God. But we believe the Bible that people have today is changed. It's not mm-hmm. the original. So yeah. we say that uh, there are signs that it's not divinely inspired mm-hmm. because there are contradictions. Yeah. There are additions and omissions. Like, would you agree with me that there are changes that happen to the Bible throughout history? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, so if there is changes, how can I know it's from God and what has been added that is not from God? Yeah, I mean, I guess they would say that the changes are divinely inspired even. But the changes are from human. How can you, How can a human yeah. manipulate the scripture and put something from his own and then we say that that was God's work? Think about that. Uh, Someone yeah. corrupted the scripture, added his own information, and then I would say that's, that was from God? So, yeah. So because... if you were to add, if you were to add information would that also be the violin inspired it depends on who i am i guess if i'm an advocate but, but the, of the church or if i'm a but the authors of the bible are, are unknown the authors of the bible are unknown and the people the scribes yeah. that added and took they're unknown yes that's true yeah so, so what is the criteria for a person to add anyone can add them if it's it just god inspired i'll start adding my stuff now and it's also god inspired mm-hmm. do you get what i'm trying to say so so i would say that there is no way she performed there's no way there's no comparison between the mm-hmm. bible and, and uh, sorry between the bible and the hadith mm-hmm. and that is the hadith now the quran is a completely different level of authenticity now yeah yeah. So you just like, I mean, oh, I've, I've, seen, I've yeah. seen like uh, read about like the Birmingham manuscript and things like that. Like I know yes. it's, the Quran's kind of on a different plane, but yeah, 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 I don't know if I if I can really get on the same bandwagon for the Hadith where it's like okay. Let me ask you this. You know? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If someone comes to you, he says to you, Emma, there's a fire upstairs mm-hmm. in the in the like let's say the first floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tenth floor because you guys have it different. You know, let's say it's mm-hmm. in the tenth floor. Yeah, so there's a fire mm-hmm. in the tenth floor, and you are in the first floor. You've not seen it. Mm-hmm. You've not seen smoke or anything, right? But they say to you, "There's a fire inside the specific flat." Mm-hmm. And then a second person comes that has that doesn't know the other person at all, and he says to you the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. And a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, they all come to you saying to you the same thing. Mm-hmm. Would you believe that there is a fire upstairs? Well, yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. So the hadith mm-hmm. is the equivalent. But the difference is that you know that every single person coming to you with the news is a trustworthy, honest person too. Mm-hmm. Not just that the, the, the people telling you a news, but you know that trustworthy, they're honest. Not mm-hmm. only that, it's also they are written a hadith. So the hadith is written. So we've got a written, written a hadith very early as well. So Hammam ibn Munabbi, who was a student of the companion of the Prophet Muhammad, the direct disciple of Prophet Muhammad. Abu Huraira is a mm-hmm. disciple of Prophet Muhammad. And he is the one who narrated most narrations, the largest amount. His student, we have the writings today. Mm-hmm. Imam Malik, 
uh, we have his writings today. He died in the in the second century of Islam, mm-hmm. right? So, so he's, he is very early. We have his book, Motta, full full book we have. Oh, okay. So, uh, and, and he was born he, between him and there were one or two people uh, that between him and the Prophet. Two people between him and the Prophet. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? So yeah. he's very close to the time of the Prophet. And we've yeah. got his his writings. We've got the written and we've also got, as I said to you, the chain of narration and all of that. What would be the, the doubt that you have about hadith after all of that? Just, I mean, it's not, I mean, I don't know how you would know that it's trustworthy, you know? Like, how, how do you know that it's unchanged, that it's not changed throughout there are, the whole? There are un- independent sources, <clears throat> mm-hmm. independent sources transmitting the same information. Mm-hmm. Communities agreeing upon this information to be accurate and correct passed mm-hmm. down historically through agreement of Muslims, mm-hmm. like Sahih al Bukhari, for example. Uh, when he uh, finished his compilation of authentic ahadith, all of the narrations that he has in his book are found in other books. So they are mm-hmm. independent sources of different people in different countries, even that have the exact same information or ahadith that he says. So he's not the only one who brought this as the first thing. Mm-hmm. The second thing is this person, Sahih al Bukhari, when he finished his collection, he went to the people specialized in the science of hadith. Mm-hmm. The science of men. They used to know the men, the liars, and the authentic people, and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. He went to them and he consulted with them and the whole community to make sure, is, do you agree with this hadith to be authentic? Or is there any mistakes? And mm-hmm. then the whole community accepted that book to be a, a, a authentic, the boss, or most authentic book of, tran- of narrations. And since that time, Muslims are using it. And that okay. was very close to the Prophet Muhammad. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when you have this type of community agreeing to something, and then you have independent sources with this information already present in different books and different by different people. So it's not the same people transmitting the information, but it is the same exact information. Mm-hmm. And then it's being validated by the whole community. And also we have early written manuscripts of that thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- this is, look, If you, uh, I'll, I'll tell you something. If you reject that, you have to reject all history. Let me give an example. Did your great-great-grandfather exist? Yes. Where's your evidence? Ah, uh, my great great grandfather. I mean, I have photographs. But how do you know that's him? Well, my. By the way, the great 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 one. There was no camera yet. But let's say there is. Well... How do you know that's him? <laughs> it's okay. How do you know that's him? Uh, I mean, my my grandfather. You have testimony would... of one person called your grandmother, yeah. and you believe it. You see a difference now. How do you know Julius Caesar existed? How do you know Alexander the Great existed? By the way, none of those people have anything similar to what the Hadith has. Nowhere near even. So those all yeah. all of the history basically you cannot believe in history mm-hmm. uh, without believing in hadith. Just to, uh, to put yeah. it like my like if you reject the criteria of hadith, you have to reject all history. Yeah, because I mean you're making a good point. To... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because because nothing even comes close to that. So if I, if I have, if I'm going to be skeptical to that extent, I cannot believe in anything. Mm-hmm. So if if there's only signs and and so many, it is the highest historical standard. Muslims have the highest historical standard for their work. Mm-hmm. This is a testimony even if of. Of, of academics or not Muslims. They will say the same thing to you. They will say to mm-hmm. you, no one have anything similar to what Muslims have preserving their history. Why? Mm-hmm. Because those people believe this is the word of God. So they, that we need to be sure that we're transmitting this. Do you know, one, one narration of the Prophet that is transmitted by over 50 companions and those 50 companions have hundreds of people transmitting from them. Mm-hmm. This narration is the Prophet said, Man min who lies upon me intentionally, let him prepare his seat in the hellfire. This narration is so mass transmitted because people took this seriously the prophet said if you lie about the prophet Mm -hmm. prepare yourself to go to hellfire so they took this science very seriously Mm -hmm. so you'll find very early statements from them saying if it wasn't for the chain of narration anyone will say anything just like Mm -hmm. it is today with the bible anyone can say anything and you get what i'm trying to say Mm -hmm. if it wasn't for that chain that authenticates that this is from the prophet anyone would make anything up but that's why they were very 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 cautious very clear they made sure that this is transmitted the way it should be transmitted so I don't have even even a single doubt in my heart that, that this is authentic because it, it's impossible. It's, I have to believe. Look, first mm-hmm. I have to reject all history. I have to believe there is a mass conspiracy, not only in one community but all of the communities of the people who wrote different books independently reporting the same information, and all of the men in all of those chains. Mm-hmm. So I have to do yeah. that in order for me to reject the hadith. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're making good points. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is the point of hadith. What else? What else other than that? Um, do you, would you think that you're you're worried about or thinking about? I don't know. Um, just I don't know. It's just the community aspect of Islam. Um, you know, I'm white. I'm American. It's kind of, and I come from a Christian background, so it's kind of hard to um, assimilate to a Muslim community you know so that's the only other hindrance i have so i know. think because you are white people <laughs> yeah. will be welcoming you even more 
That's yeah. Alex saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, I would say that, uh, trust me. The, the, well, the I mean, people. I just mean my my community. Okay. What? Which part of the? Are you from the UK? No, I'm from America. America. Which United part? United States. Um, the South. Not that I know, you know, but uh, which oh. the South. Okay, I'm not, I'm not that yeah. familiar with the U.S. But there is a big Muslim community in the in the U.S. Um, yeah, in some parts, not where I'm from, though. Do you have any mosques near you, around you? Um, there is one. Yes. Okay. Have you come across? Did you walk next to it? Do you see uh, is a, a prayer place for men and women? Women coming outside? Did you see it? Um, I haven't been there yet. Um, okay. but there's a Muslim Students Association on my campus for my okay university. okay okay so yeah. okay no but the point is i will connect you with people anyways this is not okay. an issue i will connect you with people who will talk to you teach you about islam and what you need to do a step-by-step journey they, they will help you right mm -hmm. so i'm not worried about that but um, um once you 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 start going to the mosque you don't have any, any muslim friends um no mm -mm. Okay, the, it, people mm -hmm. that you know through university that you, you thought this person is a nice person, this girl is a nice girl. No, oh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, people in my classes, yeah. So I'll tell you, if you first, I'll connect you with people anyways. But I would say mm -hmm. the best place to go is those people. Is that you just mm -hmm. let them know you became Muslim and that you mm -hmm. might, you want to go to the mosque. And you okay. just see the reaction, you know. I'm not going to tell you how they're going to react. You know? They will be okay. so happy. They will try. They, you'll just see what they're going to do. So okay. they will do. Uh, most Muslims are like this. Mm -hmm. This is this is a generalization. I mean, I'm saying all, but most Muslims will be like this with you. They will try to take you to the mosque and will be happy to help you with Islam and everything. But I will make sure to connect you with people anyways. Mm -hmm. And those people will be contacting you uh, it can be through social media but they will teach you how to pray and everything like that and if there's someone nearby you then they will try to connect you in, in real life with that person as well mm -hmm. but they have a team in the u.s there's no doubt about that i get a lot mm -hmm. of people accepting islam from the u.s so you think mm -hmm. you're ready to become muslim um maybe in a few days <laughs> okay <laughs> no but what is the difference if you say a few days then i'll have to ask you this what is the difference between today and a few days what, what would change <laughs> I don't know. I think I have to do more research. I think I have to On finish what? reading the Quran. No, you know what you say now is what a lot of people say. This is look, Muslims read the Quran mm -hmm. every day. Okay. Whether you are a Muslim or you're not a Muslim, you'll be reading the Quran. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's not an issue at all of reading the Quran. And when it comes to knowledge, I can see you're there. I can see that you're there. I can see that you're ready. I can see that you want to do it. Just Satan mm -hmm. trying to push you, uh, delay you for a few days. If, in his hope that maybe if I delay her for a few days, she'll forget. And then if mm -hmm. she forgets, she might be more. She might die after before that happens. And then I won because she didn't accept. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So he mm -hmm. will try to delay as much as possible. But you're mm -hmm. already there. You believe. You ask about hadith. I'm sure it makes sense now to you that. Uh, it's not an issue anymore so and the quran you what you've read for, from it i wouldn't you say that it makes perfect sense yeah it does yes yeah and i'll guarantee you the rest mm -hmm. will be the same yeah because it's the word of god right it will mm -hmm. make the most sense that's why islam is the biggest growing religion in the world and mm -hmm. most of the rivers are, are women by the way 70 mm -hmm. right because they read they investigate and, and yeah. they're not concerned so much with desires like men they are too much concerned with desires right yeah. so they focus more on reading educating themselves and trying to learn that's why mm -hmm. most of them they, they they accept islam right so i can see you're there i'll tell you if you're not there i would have told you the word about it go do this and that but okay i can see you're there so mm -hmm. I think you should do it. And once you become Muslim, I'll take your details. You email me, email me your details, mm -hmm. and I will connect you with people. And you've got, you will have my email. Any questions? I'll be happy to answer any questions. You can come on on my Q and A's that I do for okay. Muslims and ask anything you like. You know, okay. <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. I'll tell you what you need to say. First, you say in English, and then we'll say the same thing in Arabic. So I would, the reason I'll say it in English first because then you'll understand what you will say in Arabic. Basically, is the same meaning, right? Okay. So you will say, "I testify." I testify. Is nothing worthy of worship? There is nothing worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. And servant. And servant. You see, it's very simple. <laughs> now you say the same thing, but I'll say it in, in Arabic, right? You say, Ashhadu. Okay. I'm sorry. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La. La ilaha ilaha illallah illallah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan rasul rasul allah allah Mashallah, honestly, the way you say the Arabic is beautiful. Why? Because oh. you say the ha, which is the Arabic letter, which is a lot. You say it very well. A lot of people, they don't say it. Oh, here, right? <laughs> no, no, it's honestly, honestly the truth. Mashallah. So you see, accepting Islam is a simple thing. It yeah. is a step that you take 
that a lot of people think it's a mountain because Satan is trying to delay you. He's trying to push you back. So we believe mm -hmm. this is your key to entering paradise. If you die on that belief, if you die accepting what you believe, if you die upon that, you enter paradise eventually. Yeah. But you obviously have to obey God as much as you can and do good. That's the difference between Islam and Christianity. You get the point. It's that it's just, mm -hmm. You don't have a free ticket. No, you have to actually do as much as you can. Yeah. And God will hold you accountable to as much as you can because he didn't create you perfect. You will send, I will send, everyone sends. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just the point to try our best to do as much as, as we can, you know? So a lot of okay. people are happy, are happy in the comments. They're going wild, you know? <laughs> they say, welcome, sister. Allah Akbar, yeah. which is, means Allah is the greatest. You know, they're very happy. You know, he's, they're giving you a virtual <laughs> hug. You know, I can give you a hug, you know? They're, they're, <laughs> They'll give you a virtual hug, yeah. The sisters will give you virtual hugs, you know. So, uh, so mashallah, sister. Yeah. Welcome to Islam, my sister. Mashallah, you have a brother in Germany. You have, yeah, you have, oh, you know, okay. two billion, two billion brothers and sisters. Okay. And trust me, you'll see the community of Islam. Islam is an actual community, you know. You yeah. just see a Muslim, you give, it, you help him. You, you want to, to know, to get to know that person. You want to be in their service. That's what Islam mm -hmm. teaches us, you know. Like we're one body. Mm -hmm. And Islam is a religion for everyone. Allah okay. says it in the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, say, oh mankind, I'm a messenger to all of you. It's not about where you're raised, where you're born. Prophet Muhammad said in his last ceremony, there's no difference between a black and a white. There's no difference mm -hmm. between an Arab and an un-Arab. Mm -hmm. The only difference is your piety, how much you worship God, how much you're close to God, then you're better than a person who's not, right? Okay. Other than that, your race doesn't help you, right? So uh, mm -hmm. do you have my email? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, let's see if one of the mods is going to be quicker than me. It's always this test. But they're always slow. I'm always quicker than them putting my email, right? So I'll put my email for you. And uh, okay. See, I'm already done. They're very slow. Oh, I put, okay. No problem. So this is my email, yeah? Okay. So it's the same as the channel name, but just without D at gmail.com, okay. right? So just email me your details. Okay, right? I will. And then uh, I will connect you with people. And as I said, any questions, don't hesitate. I'm happy to answer anything you have, yeah? Okay. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Was, so was, I'm very happy for you to come. And welcome yeah. to Islam. Yeah, I'm Thank very you. happy for you. Allah, Thank you so much. I'll I'm, let you go, I'm, Sister Emma. I'm happy. Okay? Thank you. Okay, mashallah. I'll let you go, Sister Emma. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye.